are clinging to the sixth spot, sitting on an eight and six record. One win gets them around LSU and Arizona territory. Missouri S&T still has three matches left to play, including tonight when they take on Kansas State after this match is all over. So a lot on the line here for UT Dallas as they try to close out their season with the Dubs. And I think one thing, another point you can put in UT Dallas' favor in this match is that Mizzou have already clinched. You know, Mizzou are playing yep. with house money. The, you know, the, you, you, in that kind of situation, you're not always playing at, you know, max capacity as far as your mental game goes. It, it's a much different story for UT Dallas, like you said, clinging onto that last playoff spot. And you just play a little different in that situation. So that could be what uh, what halt, pole vaults them over Mizzou in this match, but it's still going to be tough. I mean, Mizzou are still going to come out here and battle pretty tough, but uh, as you're seeing, UT Dallas, they're not afraid to to take the fight to Mizzou's half as much as they can. But I, I'm curious how that, how the momentum goes, Stacks, because game ones, they can mean so much for the rest of a set uh, to establish confidence. And if Dallas just get game one, it might mean a world of a difference as Luby turns right back around and picks up the first goal for UT Dallas. And that's exactly the kind of confidence booster that this team needs stacks against Mizzou. Yeah, they're a team that is certainly momentum driven. They, they, may, uh, they make no secret of that whatsoever. I mean, you look at the teams that they have played above them in the standings. They get swept by Oregon. They get swept by UNT. So obviously they're not coming back much in those games, but then they go five games with LSU. I think they started that series strong. They have the win over Arizona. They're a team that if you let them hang around, boy, they can spell trouble for you. And Mizzou, you talk about them having a playoff spot clinched. Hey, seeding matters with the playoff format we have here for CRL. So the deeper you can start in this kind of page playoff system, the more favorable matchups you can get, yeah, you'll take it. Ghost trying to drop one down in front. Dalton there a little bit slow. Here come the Tigers of Mizzou. Everybody's up for this. That means they've got to rush back. Grims and Choksik rushing to get back. Dalton took out one. Have they set up a goal? They sure have. Ghost makes it 2-0. Nice full team effort by UT Dallas. First a demo on the backside, a demo in net. And Ghost gets a wonderful flick. You see the only defender in net, Shocks, who could have done something about it trying to play close to the wall, but he was still rotating back in net. Ghost was playing close on the follow-up, and it was all three players getting involved for UT Dallas in a two-goal lead. Like to see the start. Nice and hot and very aggressive, Dalton. You see this. No one wanting to get uh, or to rotate past the attacking third on UT Dallas stacks. It's very apparent how hungry this team is to get this match win. Luby does force this through, make the task a little tougher for Mizzou. As Nitrovity, Asterisk all the way back. That is dangerously close to his own net. That hit near post. That would have been absolutely disastrous for the Tigers. Still could be, but now Crims will take over. Looking to drop one down in front, but nobody else had faith, and they're all back at midfield. It's just a little bit weird. They're not all back when they should be. They're not all up when they should be. And Luby will put this in at exactly the only point he could get to this ball. And Chalks was maybe expecting Ghost to play that a little slower, maybe go along the lower end of the back wall. But it was a good play by Ghost in the corner, recognizing the positioning, and instead said, oh, you want to play near post on that side? Well, I'm just going to throw this up as high as I can on an awkward pinch. And it worked out well. This is a very strong start for UT Dallas. Mizzou are really struggling on their defensive structure when it comes to high pressure situations. And they keep letting the ball leak through like this. Nobody can grab the ball on the backboard for Mizzou. And if they don't, uh, if they don't plug the leaks on that defense, they're going to be in trouble all match long. Oh, Grims jumped at the last possible moment to avoid a demolition. And he gets a well-earned goal here. And a good challenge in front by Nitrovity, too. Had to, was just trying to square up, wasn't trying to do too much with the ball. He knew it was going to be a challenge. Just cut, try to kill the ball. You know the follow-up is close by. Just don't miss it. Don't be late. And that's all that Nitrovity needed to do to get on the board. 
Now Crims, he's feeling it, looking for another, but he's blocked. Ghost, I wonder if he was trying to get the flip reset. He did not, but it still works out uh -oh. for Dallas for the moment. Now Chalks, he's gonna get around on it. Oh, he didn't time it right, and Ghost makes the save in front. Dallas, now I gotta be careful. You cannot let that third man have the ball flying past him too often. There's still a minute left. You can't lax up just yet. And Mizzou are starting to feel the heat, are starting to bring the heat rather, grabbing more and more possession in the final minute. That possession had been predominantly on the orange half of the field. It was UT Dallas. Great passing, great possession as they built up a three goal lead. Almost got a bump there that would have certainly led to another goal. But Mizzou have woken Ooh. up here. Oh, what a shot that just left Crims fooled in the net. I don't think Crims even saw Luby. He's looking at Dalton, and then Luby jumps just off the edge of his cam, and Crims is just kind of ro rotating back and forth. He's trying to get an idea of how the play is going to develop in front of him. He was never expecting a shot on the backside. The game one, looking like it belongs to UT Dallas. Dalton out around one more. Crims got blown up, and Travity dropped down, and Chalks got blown up by Ghost. And that kills off the attack. It would have got him back within two with about 20 seconds left. But now they're still down three. Make it four. No, Luby comes up empty. But they certainly don't need any more. The work has been done. Add one to the highlight reel. No, never mind. <laughs> he threw, I was threw getting it away. excited for it too, right? <laughs> yeah, oh. I saw him up. He like pre-jumped in and everything. And I'm like, oh, let's go. It's going to be a bagger. And he's like, uh, no, we're not doing that. But Stax, you know, you, you talked all about Dalton in the pregame and how UT Dallas, in the matches that they win, it seems like Dalton is the guy that's the centerpiece. But this time, you know, I, I got to say Ghosts absolutely yeah. popped off in this game. Yeah, Luby got all the goals and gets all the highlight and gets all the credit. But Ghosts out of that left corner was so deadly. And in fact, it's criminal to me that he doesn't have, a, he doesn't have the second assist because I think Dalton stole one of those from him. <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't know. I don't have, I, I don't have the, uh, the, 2020 hindsight to tell you for sure but ghost was was the centerpiece of this team on offense and on defense in game one i i really liked how he had approached the game was winning the vast majority of his challenges takes advantage of the positioning of the other team and uses it to his benefit and his team's benefit and that netted them that game one win dalton uh, dalton very fittingly has has the tag astronaut he had two assists <laughs> in the win for UT Dallas in game one. All right, now they got to dust it off and go again here in game two. It's like a top five title. Game lead. Oh, Ooh. what a block by Luby. Strafing across and then Nitrovity couldn't make contact. Grimm still has a shot and Luby gets to this as well. Boy, Mizzou brought the heat in the first 10 seconds. They don't get a goal. They almost give up one on the other side. Certainly not out of danger yet. They get, did get a demolition on Dalton. Now Nitrovity. Oh, Matt Dalton's right back in the play already. Ghost getting bumped around a little bit. That allows Chalks to throw one up there. Luby's got to have this, and he does. Well, the first 40 seconds have certainly all belonged to Mizzou. They had a good finish in game number one, but they started just way too late to get back into it. Ghost looking to set it for Luby, and it's blocked away. <laughs> I didn't expect the pass to come out right afterwards from Ghost, who is really favoring that left corner. Hang on, did Dalton sneak it through? No, it's going to be out. But I think the main difference you're seeing, Stax, is despite Mizzou having uh, the possession in the blue half for that first minute, the main difference is that UT Dallas's backward defense is rock solid, whereas Mizzou just let rebound after rebound through. Even when there was a defender there, they were slow on the read, and UT Dallas were always there to punish them for it. And Mizzou are struggling to actually put consistent opportunities in front of the box. Right here, Dalton, it was already blocked. He was already in the air. And Luby, oh, he missed half of it. Dalton's going to clean. No, okay. Well, you can't praise UT Dallas for too long. But that was a missed opportunity. Oh, my goodness. Your heart breaks for both Luby and Dalton. One of them should have converted. Luby, he didn't even need to touch the ball, really. But when he did, he pushed it a little bit wide. Of course, you can't know that until somebody calls it out. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. But yeah, it I is. I wish I could have been on it, his cam because I right. wasn't on his cam at the time. But like that ball was coming pretty fast. So 
You wonder how hard of an adjustment he had to make, but Mizzou is starting to put on some pressure. Boy, Mizzou's getting caught way downfield. Way too much for my likings. Dalton will slow up here, Chalk. At least giving him some token challenge. Luby can't get to this ball, so Nitravity just throw it downfield. Dalton had to go around Luby. You know, for, for all the opportunities that Mizzou has had, they haven't had many quality looks at the net. It feels like the, the possession has been better, but they haven't taken advantage of that. They were looking for Dalton there, couldn't take him out. Well, I think you now said go, it. Oh. Ooh. No, Dalton's there. Oh, Dalton. Dalton. Hang Dalton. on. Dalton. Dalton's going to run out of gas. I wasn't looking at him again. I'm always looking at the wrong player. I should have been looking at his boost. <laughs> Either way, I think that you, you you hit the nail on the head with Mizzou earlier, Stax. They're like they're getting caught too far downfield or, you know, too far off the ball. Their rotation isn't tight enough to actually continue the pressure. And they're almost no just they're just letting UT Dallas march down midfield and just take over the, the pitch when they have the resources to deal with it. But they're losing every challenge in the blue half and they can't get any shots on that. Here goes Luby, one on one with Chalks. Nitrovity's gonna come help. There's Dalton, couldn't hit him. And Ghost will have to turn all the way back as we play on in a scoreless tie, not for long. Crims will score on the counter. And finally, Mizzou has a lead. One transition is all it takes. And it was a 2v1 where Chalks got the bump onto Ghost, who was hoping to turn around and challenge Ghost on the play, but it was never gonna happen with Chalks already sitting so far downfield. However, if I'm Mizzou, I wouldn't count on that working for another minute 30. Here we go. Ghost will collect here. Plenty of time for UT Dallas, but Chalk uh, didn't get any pace behind it. He rolled that through. Luby trying to continue downfield. There will be no boost for him. He's got to come back. Dalton's got to make a save, and he does. Off a redirect attempt from Chalksik. Chalks will try again. This goes all the way across. Dalton with a full take of boost. Oh, he juked out Chalks, and he tried to hit Luby downfield. That's a great block by Nitrovity. Well, that's the really, again, what's really working for UT Dallas is Mizzou are picking one option, and they're just going with it. And UT Dallas have picked them apart on that. They've gone for, you know, the little fakes or the slowdowns. It doesn't have to be a hard fake to be a mind game. It can just be hitting the brake, just tapping on the brakes. And then all of a sudden, you find an open net to tie the game, and Luby takes the ball down the field himself for a UT Dallas goal. Everybody up across midfield. It happened again. This should have happened maybe two or three times, at least to Mizzou. And this time, Luby makes him pay for it. How many times can you put your hand on the stove before you realize fire is hot? Here's Dalton. That's an open net, and he scores oh. to take the lead. Well, Mizzou are burning now. They can't get off the stove. Chalks does what he can with no boost, but Nitravity undercuts his launch, and Dalton beat him by the equivalent of a Rocket League mile at this level, Stax. What a turnaround for UT Dallas after that miss from Luby on their first transition that should have been a goal. This is a massive pickup for them late in the game. And now Mizzou has to flip the switch because they go from trying to milk the clock and run it out here to trailing all of a sudden. This game is turned on its head with two goals, not more than like seven or eight seconds apart. It's a chance for Chalks. It is blocked away by Luby. Chalks had a rush back, Nitravity is there. All he can do is delay. This ball will touch down one more time and that's gonna do it. UT Dallas is one win away from sweeping the Tigers. Option coverage on defense is why UT Dallas won this game. You see three saves from Luby, you see three saves from Dalton. You wanna know why? Because they were covering the options. And it sounds obvious, but Mizzou were not covering their options on defense. In fact, the third man, it, you know, there wasn't one player as third man on Mizzou that, that felt like it was lackadaisical, as if, you know, they weren't respecting Luby's ability to carry the ball down the field or they're expecting a very specific touch and not letting Luby lose the ball first before picking the spot that they're gonna sit at. And that's how Luby punished them multiple times. Then Dalton and Luby, an excellent uh, excellent structure on defense. And Mizzou haven't been able to figure it out, Stacks. They got them caught out one time off a cheeky bump that Chalks got. And that is the best Mizzou have gotten in this game. Dalton will start it off for UT Dallas. Well, this matchup 
feels like a nightmare for Mizzou. Because they get caught out so much, they can't account for Luby, who's stolen a full tank of boost. He takes out Nitravity, and Dalton will intercept there. He's got Luby waiting to the left. Ghost waiting behind him. He'll come in and try to fill in the play. At least slows down Crims, and Luby's shot is blocked away in front by Nitravity. Here goes Chalks. He had six shots in that last game. None of them found purchase. He goes 0 for 6. That ball's going to bounce in front. Ghost is in no man's land. Nitravity double tap, and it's blocked away and hit the post. Oh, no. Ghost, wait a minute. That was a 2v1 you had. Slow it down in midfield. Make Mizzou panic on that. I felt like that was a easy uh, man advantage, but, you know, it's early in the game. Don't try to push your luck too much, I guess. I just saw an opportunity, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Go back to the old Madden game. Sean Madden's going, you saw an opportunity, and boom, he took it. He didn't take that opportunity, unfortunately. Yeah, you could have got a couple out. more yards on the play. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Madden. <laughs> Luby thrown off the backboard. Ghost is right there. He got nothing behind it. Here comes Mizzou the other way. Dalton making sure Crimson ever got a shot. And again, it's a counterattack that Ghost puts in the net. Another ball launched from midfield, and for some reason, Mizzou are nowhere to be seen. Neutravity is still rotating back. I don't know why there's this aggressive position in front. That passing play was very clean. Well done from UT Dallas, taking advantage of that Mizzou positioning again. They're doing such a great job picking this team apart on their optimistic positioning. It's worked consistently, but they get a pass in front from Chucks, and there's Mizzou back on the board. Never let anybody tell you that play styles and adjustments don't have don't matter in a Rocket League series. This is a prime example of it. UT Dallas understands they can work downfield quickly against Mizzou. I think Mizzou might start figuring out here. Hey, these quick passes to the mid. Yeah, I don't think Dallas can defend them so well. I think they've got to challenge Dalton here to make a play, especially coming off the backboard. Him and Ghost have been a little shaky up there. Here's Chalks throwing one downfield. Nitravity will be waiting as Dalton throws it to the side. That ball is jumped on by Nitravity. Luby gets there, but it, it's right to Crims. He's got Chalks waiting, Ooh. and the pass never comes out. Chalks was ready for a, a sweet pass, but it never came, and oh, Luby just lost control of the ball. He's actually been pretty good on his carries. It's been mostly a... Well, hang on a second. I'm sorry. Ghost had to pick up a good save, but Mizzou are starting to pick up some transitions, and that could mean... Uh, some good things. They're not, they're not pushing up too far. Again, uh, unearned positioning, if you will, and this time respecting UT Dallas's ability on the transition, which has killed Mizzou in the first two games. Oh, Ghost! A clever touch to get around Chocsik, who was bearing down on him. Now Dalton. Oh, he tried to wait him out and did at least get by a couple. And Luby is there to cycle in to block the shot. We get into the second half of a must-win game for Mizzou. Meanwhile, UT Dallas, look, for all intents and purposes, this Woo! is must-win for them, and Dalton gives him the lead again. From midfield once more, Ghost and Luby. It's a perfect touch in front, and poor Crims. This guy was in the right position for his team, okay? He saw where his teammates were, and he's like, okay, a challenge is coming somewhere. I'm just going to cover the last possible thing. But he's not expecting nobody to get to the ball. But it was just very clean passing from UT Dallas. That was all of them on that play. You were just a step ahead on Mizzou, each player on the pitch. And that converts into a goal. It was just really well executed by UT Dallas. I mean, there will be plenty of time to talk about game differential and all of that, but it is so important that UT Dallas wins this game. It will get them to a plus seven game differential and give them a ton of breathing room as they look down at Missouri S&T, UT Arlington, who actually wouldn't be able to catch them if they win here. So it's just S&T that they have to worry about as this goes across. Actually, they probably have to worry about the Farmer Boys, who we will see in action a little bit later. That all mattering if they can close out this series here. Luby, little floaters set away by Nitravity. And we're seeing UT Dallas in this match, and I'm not surprised that they're playing as well as they are, Stax. We've seen this out of this team before. Yeah, they started the season really poorly, but they're absolutely one of the best improved teams in the Western Conference this season. To, to start out as poorly as you did at a, at a one in five mark, I think, and to, to come back 
and to even start to think about, to even think you have a sniff, sniff's chance at the playoffs. And yeah, it. What an improvement for UT Dallas. They might get caught out here. Chalks can't put it in, and Ghost is lost. He can't find the ball. Crims punishes. That is a tie and goal for Mizzou. They're not quite out of the woods yet. The only two goal scorers for Mizzou teaming up here. Crims adds his third of the series. Chalks gets his first assist. 42 seconds remain. Who's going to take game three? Will it end the series, or will Mizzou begin the long path back looking for a reverse sweep. Dalton is not gonna get to this ball. Now with 30 left, Luby got a piece of that, but Nitravity can still throw this downfield. Luby was looking to go after Crims, but could not catch up to him. So he'll make the turn at midfield, but he's gotta rush back and does make the stop with, I think, Nitravity trying to get him in the air. Ooh. Close in a real tough spot. Oh, what a touch by Dalton. Throwing that away from Nitravity coming in. As Luby now with seven seconds left, trying to break Mizzou's hearts Ooh. here. Not going to have any power behind this. And now Ghost has got to just play containment. <gasps> Couldn't stop Chalks. Dalton will kill it, and we will go to OT. Oh, man. UT Dallas need this win. They need as much, like you said, as much game differential space as possible. That's the best way to say that. And just getting the ball away on defense a couple of times, and Cribs hits the top. And they are not out of it. Mizzou come back roaring with life. Oh, shucks. <laughs> what a that was setup. Such, that was such a goofy setup. Like, I don't mean, and I don't mean goofy in a bad way. It was just, <laughs> Chalks was trying to get under the ball and just couldn't quite get around it. And it looked interesting. And so when the challenge came by, it just bounced off the tail of his Dominus. And we're like, okay, I guess that challenge happened. Just, it worked out really well. Cribs put a really nice shot on that. Big game, too. And, and it's a big game in the standings, of course, for Mizzou. They still got their eyes on that top spot. Because they come in 10 and 3. You got UNT and Oregon up above them, both on 11. Oregon does not have a cakewalk left on their schedule. They've got Arizona and North Texas. They're going to deal with Missouri S&T, who we've seen at times. They've that shown those slouch. flashes. And yeah. UNT, look, I think Missouri S&T could play spoiler. We'll see. There's still a long, long, long way to go as we close out the final week of league play here in CRL with the playoffs looming. Could UT Dallas be oh. in those playoffs? Oh, if Dalton had scored there, they'd be off to a great start in game four. They've recovered off of missed opportunities like that before, so they can definitely reset the mind real quick. I mean, Ghost already punched the ball downfield. UT Dallas, big game. Let's see if they can readjust off of what was really a really intense game three where they almost had it but Mizzou made a couple of nice plays. All comes down to this. Luby is not going to be able to drop that down in his own goal territory. Ghost shot threads what? the needle but two crisscross to make the stop and now Dalton found the angle but that saved away. Luby coming in tried to delay his challenge but Crims is all over it. Now on the counter attack. Can Mizzou turn that big defensive stand into a goal? No it's cleared away by Ghost. May not be done. Crims actually almost got the bump on the Luby, and it's still Mizzou's ball in front. They got a perfect rotation going. The shot gets in for Natravity, and Mizzou have taken the reins. Yeah, who is that? I think it's Luby who's watching. He's got a full tank of boost, but he just couldn't find an angle. Chalk was, I think, ready to intercept if he made any effort to get up for the ball. And it's Nitravity scoring his first goal of the series. It's a huge one here to start game four. Oh, starting to get a little bit more demo heavy as well. I saw Crims going for more intentional demos at the start of the game. And now you're seeing everybody getting involved in that front. Mizzou maybe a little frustrated that they've struggled so much on offense, but Nitrovi oh, just dove forward and now gets back in time. Luby, he slowed it down too much, too much. Mizzou strikes me as a team, Jorby, that it feels like at the start of the season they said, look, we're not going to play any defense. We're just going to try to outscore everybody. You know, <laughs> like if, if we score, if we give up six, fine, as long as we score seven. Here's Dalton, though. He couldn't turn on that and get a counterattack shot. If he had gotten the nose on the ball, we're tied up. 
It's been Dalton at the center of a lot of these opportunities downfield for UT Dallas, at least in the early stages. If he converts, we're looking at a much different game already, and Ghost got dunked on by Nitromedy. Dalton's got to get there ahead of Chalks. He barely does. Boy, UT Dallas does not look like the same team. It almost looks like they're shocked to still be playing. They look like Mizzou in game one where they can't grab a ball on defense at all in front of their own net. They finally get a transition here, but for how long can they stay? Mizzou, it, they should have scored like three or four separate times on that last push. How many times did they hit the crossbar and not actually put the ball in the net? They're going to catch UT Dallas way too far forward. Well, it's Luby now getting around Chalks. He's going to stay with this play almost because he has to. I mean, everybody, it's accepted now. Like, Luby is the guy in this series. Nitrovity avoids Ghost. Trying to get around Luby. He cannot, so Nitrovity very wisely went to the corner. He knew the ball was going to go there, and he took the boost. That denies Luby. He'll have to detour to get boost on his way back. And he actually cuts rotation a little bit. Ghost coming in, and he throws a shot wide on an oh. open net. And now Luby was on the side. That ball kicked out unexpectedly. He still goes for this, and he has to chase because he's got to play the facilitator role right now for UT Dallas to get him back in this game. He's got to be consistently in the first man role because he's been the most successful at it. Dalton has been successful at times in that role, but Luby has been more consistent at being able to carry the ball, win those challenges, and be in that disruptive role, Stacks. A, a very virtuoso-esque right now is what Luby needs to channel as that's what worked for them in the games that they won. Luby successfully carrying this ball down the pitch for his team. Ghost getting good passes out in front of the box. Dalton and Luby to close those out. They need that magic in the orange half that they had in the first two games. Otherwise, Mizzou are going to retain this one goal lead. Oh, uh, Dalton knocked Grimms up into the ceiling, but Luby and Ghost double commit. 55 seconds remain. Nitravity gets by Luby. Now Dalton trying to get, well, he's trying to hit Luby with just about every ball he touches. Just give the ball to the hot hand. He scored four goals in the series. Can he tie this game up? Luby patiently waiting. Now he'll go. He meets Crims in the air. Dalton will stay with this. Deeper into the zone. They've got a chance now. It's Ghost out of the corner. Looking for Luby. Here he comes to tie the game. And Chalks blocks a slow bouncer. Now Luby was coming some, from so far, far back for that last shot. But both defenders stayed in net. He knew they knew Luby were just going to go for that shot. Luby, I think UT Dallas, what they were able to do against Mizzou before was out mind them, or you know out mind game them, if you will, for lack of a better phrase. They can't do that now. Final ten seconds. Here we go. Oh, what a oh. set up by Luby and Dalton whipped on the shot. Oh, oh, Luby did everything he possibly could. He landed on the side. He got the quick jump off. He got a bump. And the shot never came. And we're going to game five. Oh, man. How, how did it get here if you're a UT Dallas fan? That's the question you got to be asking. Because everything was working in the first two games. Your backboard defense, clean. Your transitions, clean. Your offensive pressure, also very, very oppressive. And now... And now where are you? You can't mind game Mizzou. In fact, you feel so desperate for a shot on net that you'll just flip into the ball wherever it is. You can't pass it into midfield anymore. Mizzou have shut that down. And you feel frustrated. And now UT Dallas feel like they're just diving at the ball. Luby has been able to carry it a couple times. But Stax, you said it. The shot never came. Dalton and now our champions is... Dalton's got to be looking for a big blanket to hide under if they lose this series. All the opportunities in game four, and he can erase it all with an opportunity here in game five on the big stage on Champions Field. This goes all the way across for Dalton. He cannot center. Ghost is waiting. Now Dalton looking to get it down to Luby. Ooh. Perfectly placed, and the shot is blocked away. Like the idea, though, keep those coming. You gotta keep Mizzou honest on defense. And maybe, you know, make them start sweating on when's the next shot gonna come. Start to win those mind game battles again, those micro 1v1 situations. Can Luby, you know, win those little challenges that gave his team opportunities?
can Ghost also pick up on the positioning? Or will Mizzou continue to do this? Oh, oh they just missed it off the crossbar, but Dalton kicks it out. And he went for the boost instead. He came off the pole, and they get punished for it. Jox took it and stole it. Absolute thievery from Mizzou. Wow. I don't know how they did not get this ball out of the zone, but Mizzou, that he just aggressive off offense. No, yeah, he just, just no, he just pulled off the ball. There was no reason to pull off the ball there. I'm sorry, I don't mean I don't mean to stick on this for too long, but like you saw the defender right there. That challenge was coming. You don't go for the boost there. You do not go for the boost. Off the backboard, Nitrovity got it out to Luby, and he just couldn't get around on a shot. And that's been the theme for UT Dallas. They've been there, they've had the read, they haven't got a shot on, this is wide. Follow up from Dalton is chipped by Chox, and Nitravity will recover. Another opportunity, now we're tied. Finally, pass after pass comes, and it's too much for Mizzou's defense. Nitravity does what he can, Chox left for boost, but the ball was never Mizzou's, and UT Dallas punished Mizzou on that mistake, and they that was just the result of that mounting pressure stacks right off the kickoff. It doesn't have to be a lot. It doesn't have to be five or six shots before pressure matters. It can simply be one kickoff that is enough pressure for Mizzou's defense to break. That's what happened on that last opportunity. A great catch off of Nitravity's attempt to clear. This skips a little bit wide as Dalton will collect deep in his own corner. Nitravity will get the ball centered and there's Luby. And it's a counterattack opportunity. Dalton's coming on and Crims got there in time, but that whistle's wide as well. What well, we've seen, it's almost now like Mizzou is trying to bait UT Dallas into some of these counterattacks to see if they make that same mistake of leaving a seam to shoot through. Oh. Goes! Oh, what a pre-flip! to catch up to this and give Dallas the lead. And what a play by Dalton, he's got no boost. He knows he won't beat that defender any other way than pitching that ball against the back wall. And it was perfect. You couldn't ask for a more perfect bounce from Dalton on that play. All Ghost has to do is dive as fast as possible to get to that ball. But all that work was Dalton. Make no mistake about it. It is redemption for Dalton who has played a brilliant Game five, Ghost will set one up here as Chalks booms it downfield. Dalton is up and he got a piece of it. Slowing down the Mizzou Tigers yet again as we come to the halfway mark. There is a lot of Rocket League to be played in this decisive game. Another one bounced in front and Ghost gets there to make sure the shot doesn't get closer to the net. Dalton now, oh he missed the midfield boost but he can still play this. Just being a nuisance for Nitravity to deal with as he plays over Ghost. I think he got clipped a little bit. Dalton's got to have this ball, and he does. And Mizzou, though, that was a huge transition for them to grab control of midfield. And Chalks has been pretty annoying to deal with when he's been first man. So if they can't get that ball away from him or at least fight Crims off this ball, they're going to have some trouble. Dalton just flipping by, and Nitrovity wasn't expecting it. Dalton just rolls it in, beating two defenders, and rolls for a two-goal lead for UT Dallas. Redemption from Reed Dalton as he just slices through the entire Mizzou defense like a hot knife through butter with two minutes left. Dallas is trying to solidify their spot in these playoffs, trying to get into contention as another ball is thrown downfield. This will be thrown to the corner by Crims. It is Dalton yet again leading the charge for Dallas. And he gets this ball in front, trying to hit Crims, and he just missed him. Oh, watch out for the transition play. Everybody on UT Dallas, we're all rotating back pretty quickly. That first, that touch to the corner, you got to make sure that clear out is perfect. Otherwise, those transitions will kill you. And in fact, UT Dallas struggling to hang on to the ball on those last couple of pushes from the zoo, but they do get out again, and it's going to be... Well, that's where it starts to turn into a battle here for Mizzou. Now you see them diving a little bit at the ball. Luby in front can't get to it. Oh, uh, Dalton thought about coming up, but Ghost will take over. That ball's dumped in the corner. Luby all over it. Full tank of boost as he steals and bumps Nitrovity out of the way. Dalton avoids Nitro. Looking to set one up for Ghost. He got the flip reset, but couldn't direct it netward or anything. Two goals the deficit for the Mizzou Tigers. Chalks throwing one to the back wall, nobody up, no sense of urgency, nobody home, and no chance! Ghost puts the nail in the coffin! 
Now Dalton's the new Luby. He takes on the first man role in game five and runs with it. Ghost is just sitting downfield, waving his wheel, like dancing a little bit, saying, hey, I'm wide open over here, man. The net, no one's covering it. And here's a fifth for you. Oh, it's off the crossbar. But let's be honest, it's four to one with 40 seconds left. This is UT Dallas's game to lose. There is very little left for Mizzou to hang Ooh. on to, and Luby adds his fifth goal. He joins Ghost as five goal scorers, and it's a huge statement at the end for UT Dallas. A beautiful shot by Luby, right on the corner. Perfect placement on the shot. Well, you know, almost perfect. You like to not hit the crossbar and make you think for a half second. Is that gonna bounce out? But you take those. It always feels great to hit them. And why not get some feel-good shots in? UT Dallas, what a battle of a match. Mizzou had a lot of bright spots, especially when they were on offense stacks. But I do feel like things crumbled for them when they had to play extended defense. That is where Mizzou started to crumble. They could get clears out to that corner right there, but then the struggle came into the follow-up and keeping the play away from UT Dallas afterwards. It came in grabbing the rebounds off the back wall and the backboard. Mizzou couldn't handle it. It was too much to handle. Dalton, Luby, and Ghosts. Well, you didn't do it in a 3-0 stint. You didn't give yourself the best possible chance to stay in the playoffs, but a match win is, the, is what you get. And there was a better way to say that, but you know what I mean, Stax. It was good to keep their playoff chances alive. Hey, all that needs to be said is fight them comets, burn them comets, crush them comets. They did just that as the UT Dallas Comets have gotten that elusive ninth win. It gets them up to nine and six. It knocks UT Arlington out of playoff contention. And now they can turn their attention to the KSU Farmer Boys and Missouri SNT, the only teams that can catch them. And oh, by the way, they're coming up next as we close out the night. Don't go anywhere.